the soul that sinneth, it shall die. That's the law. The wages of sin is death. That's the law. But verse 26 says that God might be just and the justifier. How can God justify a guilty sinner and still be just? Please allow me another illustration. It's the days of knights and kings and their subjects. A man is in a cold, dark, damp dungeon awaiting his execution. Finally, the dreadful day comes when he's going to hang on the gallows. Two prison guards arrive at his cell. One of them puts a key in the lock. They open the door. One of them walks into the cell and puts a hood over the head of the man. And they escort him to the courtyard where the angry mob is waiting to see him hang. The king is sitting above the crowd waiting to give the final command. The criminal is led onto the platform. The rope is placed around his neck. A man stands at the lever, waiting for the king's command. A couple minutes pass. The king raises his arm. He pulls it down. And the guard pulls the lever floor drops beneath the criminal's feet, he plummets towards the ground, and before his feet touch the ground, the crowd hears his neck snap, and he dies instantly. His body is taken down, they lay him on the ground, they remove the, the hood from off of his head. To the unbelievable amazement of the guards, it's not the criminal. It's the king's son. They look up at the king and say, Lord, it's not the criminal. It's your son. The king stands to his feet in disbelief and horror. But before he can say anything, the guard sees a piece of paper sticking out of the boy's pocket. And he pulls it out. And the king says, what does it say? And the guard stands up. He begins to read. Father, I know that the man whose place I have taken is guilty, but he was my friend. I have taken his place, and I have paid the penalty for his crime with my life. The crime for which he is guilty is now paid in full. It is now my request that you forgive him and set him free. He is sitting not far from you. The king requests for the man to stand up. As he stands up, he removes the head, the hat from off his head. And the king says, you are a fortunate man today. My son has paid the penalty for your crime. And he has asked me to forgive you. And because he has died in your place, and he has paid the price for your crime, I have no choice but to honor his request. You are forgiven, and you are free to go. And the crowd is silent because the king maintains his integrity. He remains just and at the same time is the justifier of the guilty party.